Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my Premier League literature table. I try to predict all 20 places for the, tw uh, for the Premier League for the 2020-21 season. As you can tell my backdrop is changing, as you can see footballs are up on my wall. Don't worry, it's not finished yet, but if you have got footballs you want to send me, please feel free to contact me. My uh, links are all down below in the description. So go contact me on either Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and I'm trying to work something out and you can see your football behind me on my wall. It's a change of backdrop and that's another video for another time but guys there's a lot to get through so let's get straight down to this. Guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, give us a little big crack on hope you enjoy it and let's go. So we're going to start with the bottom three. Now the bottom three I went with Leeds, Villa and West Ham. This is the hardest Premier League prediction table I've ever had to do during my four years I think I've been doing this now I went with leagues down the bottom I'm not saying they're not a good team at all I'm just saying they could be in for a bit of a shot I know they've got the lights of you know Rodrigo I think his name is and they have got a couple of good players and let alone the Leeds team but I do think Leeds will be in for a bit of a shock. I don't think they strengthened enough. This makes it harder as well because the transfer window is still open and it will be open, you know, way into the season. I think around October 3rd it closes. 19th I went with Aston Villa. Aston Villa are one of these teams that, you know, really do struggle. They did struggle last season. Don't forget, they only stayed up due to that goal, non-goal at Sheffield United. I do think the fact of, you know, with Sheffield United and that goal, I have seen a picture, I might have worked out why the goal line technology did not set off on the referee's what. But, you know, if you want to see that, put it down in the comments below and I'll do another video on that because that'd be a really interesting one to do also. In 18th, I went with West Ham. West Ham, our team, yet again, were very fortunate to stay up. Media strength in this window. As I'm recording this, have not strengthened really at all. I think, you know, West Ham could really be struggling this season. I know a lot of you could be typed already and fair enough. I just think West Ham, from well predicted them in my second year, I think I was doing this. And then my last prediction, and then I reckon they've got a good chance of going down. Sorry to Leeds, Filler and West Ham fan. In, now we go to 17th to 11th. 17th, I went with Fulham. Now don't forget Fulham went up, then they went back down, then they came straight back up. Fair play to Scott Parker and the Fulham boys for doing that. I think Fulham would be just okay this season. I do think the fact of Fulham, you know, actually trying to stay up, that would be their main goal for the three promotion clubs. Anyway, it's got to be nothing further from that. I do think Fulham got the power to stay up. I do think the fact of, you know, Fulham, basically where they're going, could only be good for Fulham, could only be good for everyone involved at Fulham as well, including the fans. In 16th, I went with West Brom. Now, yet again, West Brom came up through the championship. I think they came up automatically. I think Fulham won the playoff. You know, West Brom, Tom and Billy has got the capability of keeping teams in the Premier League. He was at West Ham for quite a few years as well. So, you know, he's got the experience to keep teams in the Premier League. I think they will do it, but I do think the light of West Brom and Jalbia could really, you know, surprise some people this year. And don't forget, we're only six days away from my first. Premier League predictions of this season. Where you know West Brom, I think they're gonna. I I think they got a pretty good chance of you know beating some of the big clubs as well. But it's gonna take some work and only time will tell. In fifteenth, I went with Crystal Palace. Now Crystal Palace really need a strength in this window. I think Crystal Palace, you know, the likes of Wilfred Zaha, you know, he's always on about leaving. He's always wanting to leave the club. He's always wanting to do things, but whatever reason, he's not able to leave Crystal Palace. I think Crystal Palace need a strength in a bit more this window. I think Crystal Palace really do, really do need to start looking at you know potential replacements for Sahar. Oh, yeah, I can't see Crystal Palace doing any better than 15. I, but it could be an interesting season for Crystal Palace. In 14th I went with Newcastle. Now Newcastle I think they finished in the top 10 last season. Newcastle are one of them teams that you know the deal fell throughout Newcastle and basically you know we're looking forward to all these things happening but because of that deal falling through they really can't do it. So we're looking under another season of Mike Ashley, waiting for another 
potential bid for Newcastle. I think that deal that should have gone through at Newcastle might have damaged the hopes of the fans. I know some of you fans are feeling it. Uh, I do feel sorry for you. But, you know, I reckon Steve Bruce, everyone involved at Newcastle really feel that force of the deal breaking down and that's why I think you're finishing 14th for, that, uh, for this season. In 13th, I went with my own club, Brighton. Brighton have signed Adam Lallana and we have signed quite a few players that and now we've got Lewis Dunk and Ben White on new contracts. Obviously, Lewis Dunk had a lot of speculation at Chelsea and he signed a new five-year deal and Ben White, who I think signed a new three-year deal at Brighton, he obviously had a lot of speculation at Leeds. Obviously, got Leeds up, well, helped Leeds get into the, to the Premier League. I do think the fact of, you know, them two players alone and then we've also got the likes of my review where they let fans back into the stadium. For you that don't know, I went to that game where the test event, if you have not seen my video on the review of that, I'll make it pop up on the end of this video. In 12th, I went to Southampton. Now, Southampton, yet again, were one of them teams of, you know, it was basically an up and down season for Southampton. Start of the season, they wanted their manager sat, and basically they wanted this, they wanted that, and all this sort of stuff happened. And basically, you know, it could have been a lot worse for Southampton, but they did what they needed to do, and they stayed up quite comfortably. But I think no more further than 12th for the Saints this season. But I still reckon it be a good season for Southampton if they did finish in 12th. Obviously the Premier League seems to get a lot harder every year. And I can tell you that while I'm making this prediction table. And basically how hard it was for me to pick and choose which teams go finish with. In 11th I went with Burnley. Now Burnley finished in 10th from 45 points I think it was. And basically Burnley, you know, I think they finished in 10th by the scrap of their teeth. I think it's like only 3 points where Burnley managed to finish up and you know I think they finish in 11th I don't think Burnley will do any higher than that this season so you know anyway on to 10th to 5th now 10th I went with Sheffield United now Sheffield United fans the team that come up and do well like you did last season fair play for you for doing that seem to struggle doing it the second season teams like Wolves who just missed out on the Europa League spot last season to qualify for this season. But, you know, Sheffield United 10th, I still, I still think that would be a brilliant finish for you. And I can't really see you finishing any higher. In ninth, I went with Arsenal. Arsenal are one of them teams that really do struggle, you know, year after year. Not struggle as in stand-up wise, but struggle as get to the top four. I mean, I was looked at, I was looking at Arsenal last season, and I was actually counting how many points they were off the bottom three. So you know, Arsenal seems to gone sort of slowly backwards instead of forward. I know you got what you know owners that want to invest in the club, so. You know, but not if I still think it'd be a good finish for Arsenal. And obviously missing out on Champions League again next season. In eight, these three teams between Leicester, Everton, Leicester and Wolves. And even maybe Spurs I struggled to finish out on. But in eighth, I went with Everton. Now, Everton, I think they finished the bottom half. But Carlo Ancelotti will probably do a brilliant job again next season. Obviously, he's got his foot underneath the door. I think last season, you know, he could have basically... I think he came in halfway through as well, which but you know, eight for Everton be a brilliant finish for Everton, and also could be slightly underdog on Premier League season as well. In seventh, I went with Leicester. Now between Leicester and Wolves, I really did struggle to fit them round. The Premier League gets harder every year, and I'll tell you why. I'm trying to make this prediction table, I may have said it once already, but you know it's just so hard to do. But yeah, again, so I went with Leicester. I still don't consider that a disappointment. I just slipped out of fourth last season. You know, by the skin of their teeth, it was a last game decider. Leicester needed to win. 
in, and I think Elsie needed to win. But, you know, it could have really been either way last season. See it for him with Wolves. See, with Wolves, I think that qualifies him for the Euro. I think that's to go through the qualifiers, though. But, you know, the likes of Wolves finishing in sit, I could really actually see, you know, European football for them. They really were unlucky to miss out last season. Surely that's in Wolves' plans and everyone's plans involved with Wolves. And I think they got real and probably capable of doing it. In fifth, I went with Tottenham. Now, yet again, Tottenham Wolves was a bit of a hard choice for me, but I think Tottenham will have to do it. It's not a case will they, it's they have to. Because of basically, you know, Jason Mourinho keeping his job. I have watched quite a few videos of behind the scenes at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium while the break's been on, and I've seen a few things and heard a few things at Tottenham, which how I get used to the pitch. And to be honest, it's quite interesting. So now we go to fourth to second, and obviously you can tell I'll put in top spot but I'll we'll get to that in just a minute. In fourth I went with Chelsea, I don't think they finished any more higher than they did last season. Uh, as I said about a test event, I don't think between Brighton and Chelsea at that test event really played tough football. But you know, it could be as an interesting season for Chelsea. See the likes of Tom, Tom of Venner and you know, other players are like, so if I must pronounce your name in any way. But you know, really, really interesting season for them. Uh, and by the looks of it, again, Kai Havoc as well, who I covered during my transfer window period on my videos as well. So you know, it could be quite an interesting season for Chelsea. In third, I went with last season's Premier League champions, Liverpool. Now, Liverpool are... Now, don't get me wrong with Liverpool. I see the likes of you basically saying, you know, a lot of things about Liverpool. I can see Liverpool fans typing already. I can actually explain why I do it. Now, if you think about back to when Leicester win the title, now, I know Leicester are not Liverpool. They do seem to struggle. I think Liverpool will, you know, obviously their main objective will be to keep that Premier League title, but I will, don't think they will retain it. I do think the fact that, you know, Liverpool finishing in third, still Champions League football for you, and basically, you know, I can't see them finish any more higher. Now, obviously, you can tell who I put in the top spot anyway, but I'll talk to you about them in a minute. But I put Man United in second between and it's very hard for me not to put Man United at the top now Man United is are a team that I think could be a real surprise for the title this season I think Man United could possibly walk away with the title as well now I can see a lot of you laughing and stuff like that but I can actually see quite a surprising package at Manchester United because of the things they do and the way they play and I was watching them you know after the pandemic and I've seen a bit of flair back in that squad that flair I've been missing for a long long time so you know but anyway I want Manchester City to win the title but I think they will be close between Manchester City and Man United and don't be surprised if Man United do walk away the title obviously they still got a long way to go obviously there's still time in this transfer window but I want Man City to win the title because I just think they might just do it you know I can't give real more explanation than that but I just think they might cross the line in first place but anyway guys I've got to bring this video to an end guys you know what to do subscribe for more Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.